Is that like a... Is that someone oh, I talking think or...? I think it's a TV. Oh. I'll give you just a sec. Okay. Hey Andrew, could you lower that just a bit? Can you lower that a bit? Is that better? Uh, still kind of loud, but it's okay. I can just lower your. Okay. It's okay. I can just lower you a little bit. All right, I will share screen with you. You know how verbal lessons go, right? Uh, I sort of. Okay. I'm just asking if you've seen any, so. Okay. Yeah. To spec. Okay. I'm gonna open paint. Okay, I will then. You can see my screen. Mhm. Mm Are you colorblind at all? Uh, no, no. No. Okay. Um. Okay. Yeah. Uh, give me your OPGG. Okay. Uh, I message it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, do you have any questions written down, by the way? Uh, I not. I guess they're in my head. Should I write it? I can type. Yeah. Them just write them down while I look at everything. Let's write them on Skype, and then I'll copy paste them onto Paint. Okay. Ah, this isn't ranked. Sorry. Okay. Hey, they're, they're just shared of like um blurbs, I guess. So yeah, okay. I just sent them. Okay. Give me a sec. Team. <laughs> okay. Oh. All right. So you usually deal about third. Sometimes you deal second. Other times you deal first. But usually, I mean, I'm trying to ignore the support games. But usually, um, how many games of vein do you have? Vein, 43 games, negative win rate. It's no surprise. Thrash, 71%. Lulu. Uh, Lulu, it's hybrid, right? It's it's top and support? Or it's top yeah, mid and support? I, top okay. mid and support. Okay. What's your main? I like can't... Main you just spill? I, I, um, I like to just go to a lane. I just don't enjoy jungle, usually. Okay. Um... Holy shit. Okay. But I guess if I had to pick two roles, I'd say I'd like mid or AD carry. No, wait, you don't less than a support brand. Uh... Okay. Um. All right. So let me see your questions. Champs, you share it. So let's just have this. Let's bring this up. Okay. Um, alright, so let's go over this. Alright, now first off, uh, I'm pretty sure you already know what I'm gonna tell you. Number one. Okay. Stop playing Vayne. <laughs> I think I think you have stopped, because there's not many Vayne games in the last, uh, at least not in ranked, anyway, who haven't played her in a while, so that's good. The other thing is Nami doesn't make any sense, because she's basically a worse version of Janna right now. 
um, unfortunately. Uh, don't play Nami in ranked. Stop playing Nami in general. Um, so, okay, like, don't... Alright, champions that you should play. So, out of the list of champs that you have right now, you can keep playing Ori. You mm -hmm. can keep playing Ash. You can keep playing Lulu. You mm -hmm. can... I don't understand... Well, I mean, I guess you can... Your wins on Thresh. Where are they? Oh, right. I they're haven't not even. Played, yeah, I you haven't played, played Thresh, Thresh in like forever. Yeah. Right. I didn't see any, so I, I don't understand like where it's from. Okay, so may, I guess maybe you ID changed or something. Um, no, I just haven't like I I've just sort of liked playing Nami and Lulu more lately. Oh, you know what? It's also possible that those Thresh games are coming from rank five, so they interfere a little bit with. Oh okay. gosh. The, the data because uh, I mean you have a rank 5v5 team that's fucking bronze 5 it's not very impressive that you have 71% win rate on Thresh so oh no I, ha I haven't played rank 5s with uh, Thresh in what about in, okay I like the rank 5s team was just something I put together with a couple of my friends like all my Thresh wins are probably solo like if you look yeah right there 17 7 okay alright let's check your season 4 really quick Oh yeah, you've played Thresh for a while, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I don't know. I just, I've just sort of like, uh, I guess as of lately, playing okay. with Lulu and Nami. Okay. Um. So should I play Thresh or? I mean, if it, w what's your goal? Because you didn't list a goal. Um. So, oh, yeah. actually, you did. Climb steadily, but you want to branch out. Um, if you want to climb steadily, then I, I mean, if it's steadily and it's not, like, there's no rush on it or anything, because you're gold right now, right? So end of season yeah. boards, all right? All right, so you don't have to mm -hmm. worry about anything like that. Yeah, the goal is just to get, okay. um, I guess, better so at the game. Usually, I'm to dip for it. 99% mm -hmm. of the time, I tell people to stop playing Thresh, but you seem to be doing okay with him, so if your goal is only to climb steadily, then go ahead, you know? And then again, you know, you don't have to listen to everything that I say. These are just recommendations mm -hmm. that I end up making. All right. Um, so Oriana, Ash, Lulu, Thresh. Uh, what do you like? Uh, don't play Nar anymore. Okay. Um, okay. So you know who's about to be really good is Malphite. He's about to be fucking broken. Um, so you can play him in top. Uh, that would be fine. And if you ever do get stuck in jungle, you can. Like, do you ever play a jungler? Kha'Zix. Kha'Zix? No, don't play him. Uh, anyone else? Like, name junglers. Uh, a Mumu? Yeah, you can play a Mumu. Good. Okay, so you can play a Mumu. Um. Um. Wukong? Lucia, no. Holy shit. I will end this fucking call now. <laughs> kidding. <laughs> um. Uh, uh. Drop Janna, pick up Nami. Or drop Nami to pick up Janna. Okay. Um, Lucian might get good after next patch, so I'm gonna put like an asterisk next to Lucian. Yeah, that's why I stopped playing him. Okay. Because um, I realize that he's just pretty weak. Play Graves. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, I really have fifty percent. Uh, what is your? No, don't play Aurelia. Play uh Darius or Garen, possibly. Possibly uh, Garen, but definitely Darius, but possibly Garen, because I don't know exactly how he's going to be after the next patch. Okay. okay. Um, so if you want me to separate these into positions, sure. I can do that for you. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we're going to have top B. All right. So we're going to take Lulu, put her here. I'm just fucking. Oh, Jesus. All right. Mid will be Oriana. Okay. Let me see. Ash, Graves, Lucian. Okay. Uh, so take that out. Support. Okay. Lulu, Thresh, Jana. Okay. Uh, jungle. Let's put jungle here. Uh, okay. uh play Shivana. Play Amumu. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Um, and then Malphite, you can also play him mid if you really okay. want to. Uh, Lulu, Jonna, AD carry. So should I try to like condense all roles to about three champions or? No, you don't have to do that. Um, eventually, like where where are you sitting exactly inside of gold right now? I just got gold three. Three. Okay, you just got it. All right. Uh, you know what? Here, add Ari to that. Um, because you seem to play her a little bit, and your KDA is not absolutely abysmal, so that's fine. Um, where are you playing, by the way? I know this is NA, but are you East Coast oh, or you West Coast? I'm East Coast. I'm East oh, Coast. fucking unlucky as fuck. <laughs> um, okay, East Coast, what's your ping? Uh, great days, 70, bad days, 80. Okay. Um, other champions. Yeah, because I guess like my one of my biggest issues, I just play the same things over and over again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just wondered if I could where where to go, and pick it up. seems like you have a methodical way of expanding. Kale, oh. pick up Kale, okay. pick up Kale. Mm -hmm. Um, you can also technically jungle Malphite, although it's not ideal. But I mean, if you're forced into it, I'll turn it, like so. These are just like suggested junglers that you can end up picking up. Is like Malphite, Warwick, Warwick's fucking brain dead as hell. Um, okay. Zin is pretty straightforward, you know, whatever. Um, if you you don't really place any any close quarter combat champions, so I'm not gonna recommend like Diana or anything like that. Um, if you must play an AD assassin, do not pick Zed, pick Talon. Um, I copy paste this list to you soon. Um, also for support, you can expand into Leona and Morgana if you don't want to play Thresh. Um, Mm -hmm. That's completely viable. It's cut down on Lulu uh, on support. Try to work your way into playing other things, and you can just kind of keep Lulu for top and mid. Um, okay. And that'll be fine. Kale, top and mid as well. Uh, Shivana jungle, yeah. Darius, possibly Garen. Um, here, let me just do this. Okay. Um, that'll be completely fine. Uh, my builds are sort of robotic, wanting to improve. Um, alright, so the, the way to, I mean, I have tons of verbal lessons up, um, mm -hmm. and I have tons of sessions up where I go in-depth into itemization. The AD carry session, um, from yesterday, uh, that was uploaded, here, I'll find it for you on YouTube. That right. one has extremely obscure itemization, uh, but it explains why you do it. So I'll just find that for you and copy-paste it. Uh, here. There it is. Platinum too, so the MMR difference is not that big. So just okay. take that. Um, yeah. Bill, uh, robotic builds. Uh, I mean, how much league do you watch? Um, I watch quite a bit actually. Okay, now when you watch, are you watching for entertainment, like 99% of people, and you're like, ah, oh, you know, you're watching LCS, etc. Or are you watching and you question everything that the person does? As of recently, I'll say I've been doing the latter. I've been watching a lot of, I guess. Uh, like say faker games mm -hmm. and you know he can uh you mentioned damage and he consistently does this ridiculous amount of damage on champions like lulu mm -hmm. so i've been trying to watch what he does and try to figure things out right i i guess i maybe i'm not getting everything but hopefully i'll start understanding things okay that's no problem um for like builds and variations and stuff look up guides but only from good players if there are mm -hmm. any um, sometimes there's like makeshift bullshit guides, like the five minute stuff that, you know, certain team members of LCS teams will do for sponsors for like five minutes. They're not mm -hmm. bad at all, but they're also not extremely in depth, but you can just watch those because they're extremely, uh, like just fast and to the point. Um, and sometimes they go off into, you know, what ifs. So you can definitely just do that. Um, alternatively, you know, watch streams of good players, um, you know, a few of the Korean pros stream on Azabu, you know, Apto streams, you can probably find his stream by using a simple yeah. Google search, etc. Uh, okay. And everything will I have be a, fine. I have, a, I have a quick question, I guess, like, uh, yeah. are, are there any more AD carries that you could recommend I play? Because I'm looking at the list and I guess it's a bit disproportionate. Or is uh, that all you think I should condense myself to? Uh, I mean, you can, there, like, alright. You have bad ping. Don't play Ezreal, okay? Okay. Uh, Twitch is unnecessary. You don't play Twitch, and so like, all right. So let me, here, let me copy paste this to you. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Now let's let's go into like okay. So let's list all the other AD carries that are not being listed. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think I want to get better at Kate. Is that fine? 
That's fine, if you want to. Yeah, sure, just add her. You know? Um, okay, so let's let's just go over these, though. Ah, oh, fuck. Alright, whatever. Uh, let me start, like, here. Okay. Um, so there's Kog'Maw, Ezreal. Uh, let's go into Jinx. Let's talk about... Name other ADCs. Uh, uh, there's plenty, yeah. <laughs> okay, like, 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 let's be, let's be realistic for a second here. Um, what else uh, is there? Uh, Sivir. Uh, 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 Ur Urgot. Ur Urgot. Uh, Horky. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, all right. So let's just go over Calista? these guys. Yeah, let's go over them. Okay, so let's explain why you're not doing any of this. Okay, so first off, Sivir. Um, not only is she getting nerfed, okay, but she's also very team reliant, and she relies a lot on uh, surviving, you know, her like laning phase and doing everything. Now, if eighty casters come back in high volume, like let's say Lucian's there, Graves is there, Ezreal, Corky, etc., maybe she's okay um, because she has an easy time against some of them, okay. Jinx, you can play if you really want to, but you don't need to. Um, Ezreal, your ping is really bad. Twitch, you do not touch him for solo queue until much higher tiers. Kog'Maw, your ping is bad, and then also he's extremely unique, so it would like, it's a little bit different. Um, Quinn is not a real AD carry. Uh, Sivir, and when I say real, I mean she's just fucking retarded. Uh, Urgot, I mean, you can play Urgot if you really want to. He's not that difficult as long as you land a spell and then he locks on and whatever. Um, but he's just kind of boring, and he's also unique. Generally, when there's extremely unique champions, I don't recommend them. Um, okay. So, like, extremely, some extremely unique champions are, like, uh, you know, Azir and mid lane. Um, or, like, LeBlanc is extremely unique. Um, or, like, uh, what, what else is, like, really unique in some other roles? Uh, Karma. Karma is extremely unique. Like, the, uh, just how they play and how they operate. Um, Kalista, stay the fuck away from her. Especially because of your ping. Corky, uh, you don't need to play him either. Because he's just not very good right now. Okay. Um, right. Another right. another AD carry, I guess, is Tristana. If you really want to play her. Okay. Then you can add Trist to this. Yeah, so just type that out um, mm -hmm. for yourself. Um, and yeah, goal is general and pool vert. Not sure what to do. So you need to... What's your average CS scores? Your average CS scores aren't necessarily terrible. Um, they're not the best. R literally, uh, right now, you probably exalt or you like put a pedestal on like platinum or something. Even though the MMR is only literally different by like ten games right now from where you are right now. So literally, you were separated from platinum by uh, twenty games. As long as you go like a seventy percent win rate streak, the MMR will be extremely similar. Uh, unless your MMR is really stuck, uh, in which case it's probably like thirty games or forty, um, which is no big deal. And so when you think about it like that, instead of exalting it and being like, oh, platinum is this mystical thing, no. You know, because uh, if, if we use a, a point system, okay, and the MMRs are only separated by 50 to 75, generally only 50, um, IPL.KR says that it's only 50. So right now you're at gold 3, so you're at like 1400, right? Um, something like that. 1400 or 1450, it might be 1450. And then platinum is like uh, 1600 or something, right? Or no, it's okay. even less than that. It's like 15... Yeah, it's like 1600 or it's like 1575 or 1550. Okay? So when you put it into perspective like that... So let's let's use 1575. Okay? Now this is going off IPL.KR's algorithm, okay? Because OPGG's is broken, and so is every other non-Korean site. Um, IPL might even be broken uh, after the recalibration that they did when they sent out the wipe on uh, Diamond 5 clamps. So I'm not entirely sure on this. But if you put this into perspective and you go up or down anywhere from 15 to 30, okay, so either plus or minus 15 or 30 per game, this number does not seem that big. You know what I mean? Yeah, I guess they're right, yeah. Um, so it's all about perspective. Psychologically, Riot has implemented these fucking tiers to make you feel more accomplished than what you, you know. Like, it, it's all about, you know, like, uh, I don't even know if you would call it bragging rights. I mean, when they originally, uh, put it out, I'm assuming it was similar to StarCraft and where you could f see other people in your division and compete with them. No one fucking competes with each other in any of their division. No one l goes into their ladder, clicks on it, sees the hundred players in their, like, 
Shaco shitters, you know, and be like, oh man, I've really got to, I, I really got to pass Billy Bob 22 today, you know, because I'm, I'm really competing with him. No, no one fucking does that. Hello, like, uh, so it doesn't matter until you get to like master and challenger. No one actually looks at anything. Even master, no one looks at it. Usually, it's only challenger. Um, and that's pretty much it. So it's all about perspective and your approach. You have to be content with uh, losing more before you win more, especially if you're going to add in new champions. Okay. Um, alternatively, if you have pressure or anxi anxiety issues while you're playing, uh, oh then no. one thing that you can do... I'm just saying, if you do. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing you can do is you can get a second ID, and you can intentionally play champions that you know you will not win the game with, but you were trying to improve and stuff, and it's not necessarily toxic. And so what ends up happening is you fall into like a silver 3 or a silver 4, or even a silver 5, depending on how your placements go or whatever. And then uh, you work your way up from there with the new champions and stuff. And then once you begin getting back to your original MMR, then you have two IDs to shuffle between. And that's pretty good. So... That's all. All right. All right. Okay. Thanks. All right, man. Thanks. Anything else? Right. Just ask me on Skype. All right. Thanks. Okay. All right. Bye. Later, Chris. Bye. Mm -hmm. Bye.